where I wanted to get your own anonymous website but thought it was kinda hard? Well, with the newest Freenet release, that's a thing of the past. Here I'll show you how you can get your own anonymous website within just 5 minutes. So, first step, we go to freenetproject.org and click the download button. It starts. Downloads running. Um, I'm showing you how to do this on GNU Linux, but you can easily do it the same way on Windows and Mac OS X. The installers are roughly the same. So first thing, the installer downloads. Then we're going to install Freenet, then we're connecting it to the network, and then we're getting our own anonymous website. Finally we take backup so we can just use that website anywhere else. Ah, installer is downloaded. So, I'm choosing English because that's what I'm talking right now. We can simply click through the installer. Defaults are OK. Next. And here it's installing Freenet and I don't need a shortcut because I'm just showing you this. So, and that's it. Let's re rerun. The port 8888 is the standard Freenet port. And with this, Freenet is running. It's currently establishing. Uh, it's currently starting up. As soon as we'll see the wizard, we can take. Uh, we can choose the bandwidth. We can choose how much uh, disk space Freenet is allowed to use. And then we are already done. So now Freenet is still starting. And that's it. We are the wizard, Freenet is running. Now we're going to connect it. I'm choosing low security because everything else needs a bit of setup and your friends need to run Freenet too. So choosing low security because that's the simple option. Now the next step is to uh, ignore a warning because um, this tells me not to use this browser. Um, you shouldn't, but I'm doing it because it's faster to show here. Now select how much disk space Freenet gets. The defaults are okay. Um, now there's the question, do I have a bandwidth limit? Um, can I maybe only use 100 gigabytes per month? No, I don't, so I can just let it use half the, de uh, the default, that's half the, um, half the detected network speed. And now Freenet is running. Next step here, down there we see how many connections it already has and how many it wants. But we're going to get a plugin. That's the ShareSite plugin. The ShareSite plugin enables really easy creation of websites. Selecting the ShareSite plugin, selecting load, and now Freenet will, is getting this plugin directly from Freenet. Currently it uh, tells us that it's connecting right now. That's because um, in the beginning it finds people to connect with. And as long as it has only a few people, it will be slow. Also, even if it has more people, it has to optimize its, connection, its connections. And that means that in the beginning, Freenet will be slow. It will get faster over time. And now, the ShareZell plugin is downloading. Um, I will use this short time to talk a bit about what Freenet is about. So, why Freenet? Freenet, all of Freenet, uh, builds on this one quote. I worry about my child and the internet all the time, even though she's too young to have logged on yet. Here's what I worry about. I worry that 10 or 15 years from now, she will come to me and say, Daddy, where were you when they took freedom of the press away from the internet? This was said by Mike Godwin in the last uh, century. Uh, yes, 1995, I think. And when I look around, I have to say that it was pretty spot on. We do not have freedom to communicate, and journalists cannot actually access, uh, cannot actually talk to sources reliably because everything is under surveillance. And this is the core reason for Freenet to exist. It's also a reason why I contrib contribute to Freenet because I want my children to have freedom to communicate without the violence and I want them to have a way to get information without having intermediate intermediaries like the owners of a newspaper or the people uh, surveilling the net decide what they can get. 
I want to have free communication because that's a, a, a necessary condition to be able to have a real democracy um, and to have a society I want to see. So, um, but that's enough of uh, with philosophy. Um, as you can see, share site is loaded and we have a new menu item. This is the share site. We can create a new free site. Just click the button. It now shows uh, the list of free sites with a new free site. Um, I'm changing changing the title. Be careful with this. This changes the actual path to your free site. I call it hidden dots. The things I always wanted to say but never dared to. That's the short description and now the full text. Uh, I'm in Freenet. Okay, here below this you can see ways to uh, format your text. Now if you know HTML and CSS you can style your free site um, to look better. Um, and one important thing you can use a TOC, table of contents, to show the actual headlines. So save and preview. We will now see how the free site will look. As you can see, that's the free site. It's not yet uploaded though, so go back to the free site menu and insert the site into Freenet. And that's it. Now we only have to wait until the upload finishes. That will take a few minutes and we will not wait for this. Um, but before really stopping here, let's get a backup of our free sites because with this we can actually strip down the Freenet here, delete everything and just keep that backup Install Freenet somewhere else, for example in a live city, and then keep working on our free on our free site. So and with that I'm ending this short tutorial for getting your own free site. One thing I did this before, there I waited for the upload, it took about additional five minutes. And this side looked like this. This is the link. This is a link like the one you will get. Uh, this first start is a uh, public key where people can access your site. You also have a secret key. This is in the backup we just downloaded. Um, with that key you can update it. And now everyone who has Freenet can actually access your website. And you can just put this into a comment field somewhere, connect with the Tor browser to a website, put it into a comment field, put it into a chat and people will be able to access your website as I'm doing it here. They will be able to bookmark it, which will mean that their Freenet will inform them when you make a, an update. They can view the so uh, look at the source and uh, well, this is the ShareSite plugin. So, and that's it. The link will appear here. You can just right click it and share it. And with that we are done. I am stripping down this Freenet node now. You can do the same but it's advised to keep it running. But for this example I am shutting it down. Um, keep it running until you have the link. And that's it. You have your own anonymous website. You can share it, you can update it and people can access it when they run Freenet. Welcome to Freenet where no one can watch you read. And happy hacking.